fellow Forex masters. Welcome to another session within the market structure series. Today I'm going to be talking about support levels, support and resistance. But in this session, we're going to be talking about support specifically. So pay very close attention to what I'm about to tell you. So right here we have three days, day one, day two, and day three, three candlesticks. Each of these candles represents one day. That's the time frame. So what happens is that this is the first day. The first day must be established. The second day has to engulf the previous day. How do we know that the second day engulfed the first day? When um, the close in the bullish market, when the close of the body right here closes above the high of day one, then that means that this candlestick on the second day has fully engulfed the day one. This right here means that um, in day three, there's a possibility that when the day opens around this section, when the price is going to go to the downside, it's going to go past and beyond this daily support level. This daily support level, this dotted line over here, is very important. Why is it important? Because this is, um, these are daily candles. Daily candlesticks have lots of volumes. So when we see that there is a day high over here, and day two, pay attention, day two has engulfed the wick, the day two close has has closed above the high. It closed above the high. It's crucial. So that means that when we're in day three, which is over here, this is the day three open. Because it is a bullish candle. In bullish candlesticks, the open is always at the bottom. When in day three, the price is above, is above, um, the support level, which is this dotted line, and then it goes beyond it into a demand zone, which is right here. We can expect a strong reaction. So when we have high time frame candlesticks patterns within the forex market, the zones and the liquidity within the zones are more powerful than just on one H or 15 M on day three, when the price opens around this level, the natural reaction of the price is that the, the price moves just like so in the upwards market. Okay. So at this level, the open, the price is going to go to the downside. And if it does, all we have to do is find a demand zone within day two, which is, um, which is where the buyers are waiting to push the price to the upside. And that is where you place your orders and you enter. When this market structure support is also supported by a strong 200 EMA, that becomes even more powerful. So all these confluences, it is about stacking the confluences. As you stack the confluences, you are going to realize that there's a lot of understanding within the market structure. So these levels are very important for you to understand. Now we're going to go onto the charts. So right here we have day one. Here is day two. And here is day three. Now the market direction is bearish. This right here is our 200 EMA. Okay. So using this indicator, the high low day box indicator, we draw the line from the day low 
within the day one past the day two into day three and there we have it when the age recession opened right here we had the stop hunt towards the resistance this is a resistance not a support because the price is trending downwards this is a resistance this was the asia session stop hunt into our supply zone the supply zone candle was right here that's the fake out that's the liquidity grab and that's the intended move to the downside this is the power of support and resistance backed by 200 EMA within the Forex market structure. And that is the end of this session. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.